Hello everyone, it's Christine here and I'm back with a stitchery swap that I've received in the mail. Now this one is from the lovely Shirley B and I was waiting to hear back to um, from her that I was okay to open this on video and unfortunately my emails had been going into her spam folder so it has been sitting on my uh, downstairs entry table awaiting um, the okay to be opened but Shelly and I finally uh, made contact and she's fine for me to open it on video. I've just covered up um, her address and my address with these little bird postcards from the most beautiful collection called The Wild Cards and they're from The Lost Words and The Lost Spells by Robert McFarlane and Jackie Morris and they're, they're fabulous but I did want to show you um, Shirley's front of her envelope which she has just decorated so beautifully drawn around here is just a joy a joy to behold so I'm going to now turn turn it over without showing any addresses take away my little postcards put them back in their little box and we can have a go at opening it so I want to don't want to do any damage to it because again a beautiful piece of artwork here oops it's okay Open it up. I'll just make sure there's no addresses or anything else showing on the on the inside. Hopefully no addresses. I can't see any addresses. Okay, let's take a look. So, what do we have here? Isn't that fabulous? I wonder if this is Shirley's. Now I'm going to have to have a read. Is this, is this Shirley's? Shirley's artwork. One day she woke up and understood everything is a gift, and so is she. Isn't that fabulous? I'm reckoning by the drawing of it, I could... Um, oh, it says down the bottom, Women and the Hourglass. I'm not sure if you can see that colouring book. Mary Lou Felstro, 2016. But you could actually stitch this as well. Isn't that fabulous? One day she woke up and understood everything is a gift and so is she beautiful beautiful I love that okay now I don't want to see my stitchery square um, so I'm going to take out the contents and leave them upside down okay, here we go. Ooh, there's still more attached here okay let's read the card first of all what fun this switching stitching swap has been thanks for being my swap partner I wanted you to know how much I enjoy your YouTube channel so informative and interesting. I, I've especially enjoyed you sharing your thought process on preparing blocks for this swap. There is so much care that goes into your creations. I'm happy to have made a long distance stitching friend in you. We're part of such an amazing community. We really truly are. Um, I turned the foundation edges under just to minimize unraveling or raveling of the silk feel free to remove the basting stitches off and wow she sent me some gorgeous gorgeous silk thread that is beautiful look at the color of that I think my friend Leanne will be looking at this and thinking oh that's that's my that's my kind of color isn't that lovely and look at this um, washi tape that's got the um the vintage haberdashery sewing I'm going to keep that for my um yeah my vintage haberdashery journal how lovely made in Japan silk thread beautiful beautiful that's so lovely okay now we're going to that's the back I think so we will take a look at our little square now and I can see the sweetest little fabric with little birds on it okay, so beautifully packaged so much care have gone into these these gifts they're just incredible so let's take a look oh she sent me she knows I love my little birds look at just the detailing um, the little light like, drawing around the outside actually really reminds me of the envelope and the sort of the um, yeah the doodling on the envelope too beautiful bright colors won't they be just lovely to add in they'll be going into my uh, treasury of stitchy friendships um, along with Shirley's gorgeous gorgeous piece how lovely I adore that then another little friend here and these could be very cute just to add some little uh, thread painting not too much because they're just so beautiful as they are but could be lovely such fun to have little fun embellishments to 
to add into our stitchery books. It's so beautiful, yeah, definitely, definitely um, thread painting potential there. Just so detailed though, just the little detailing drawing around the outside. Not sure how well you can see, but just very sweet. Okay, let's put those, those there. So Shirley Benson, Miss Michigan, USA 2023. Isn't that lovely? And so this is where she's turned the edges, edges over. Just great. Just love the contrasting thread against the black. A really dramatic, dramatic finish. So I'm trying to guess. I'm seeing that there's something that's been stitched down there, something stitched down there. Lots of different colours, possibly some... Um, running stitch or sashiko stitching guessing guessing this is a lovely fabric too is this the is this a, is like a silk it almost feels like a, a taffeta or something oh, top I love how she's put the top on <laughs> isn't that gorgeous I just want to make sure you can see it as well as I can see it isn't that beautiful just exquisite selection of colors it's it's joy and just putting it against that black backdrop of um black is absolute absolute perfection i know some people are a bit wary of black but it can really make your work um work pop i just adore that it's a beautiful beautiful little running or um borrow stitching along there Beautiful texture created by, is that a silk ribbon maybe? Um, stitching down and ruching up um, the silk ribbon and that's a variegated ribbon. Then you've got the beautiful variegated thread and she's done a little, um, yeah, stitched. Now I'm wondering if that's a Yorkshire button. I think it could be and she's just left, left the loops longer you'll have to let me know Shirley and then these beautiful little metallic little snail embellishments well they're not snails but they're little snail snail shapes I love my snails and then just the bling just putting the lovely little bits of goldy blingy bling on little rainbow circles down here the gorgeous soft felt that just matches in so beautifully with those purples and blues which I just adore Got the beads, lovely glass beads actually, nice size. And then a little jewel in the middle. And then that looks like there's a gold thread here. So bringing the gold in again, just beautiful color coordination. You've done such a good job, Shirley. And then lovely cross stitches. More of the stitching around here. Just love, yeah, when you can put your stitches different directions, um, using the variegated thread on this fabric is just so effective because you just get such a wash of gorgeous gorgeous colors but yeah I really love how you've done this little sun wheel and is this padded up I can't even tell if you've got maybe a little bit of extra extra padding in here oh, it's almost sort of like trapunto style where you pad up a shape so it sort of sits sits out a bit but it's beautiful felt is that a wool felt it feels softer than the the non the sort of synthetic felts this one feels lovely as well but I just love that and I love I, I love your um yeah your basting stitch around the outside. I think that really adds and completes completes the piece shirts, Shirley. So I'll definitely just leave that in its in its form. Just beautifully done. And this um, fabric here has got a lovely texture on it as well. It's a very tactile, tactile piece. And yeah, your backing black fabric has a not sure if you can see it, but sort of like a textured shot through like a like a taffeta type thing. That is just absolutely, absolutely lovely. And you've used a felt on the back just to give your piece sort of a bit of stabilizing, which is a great way um, to work it. That is absolutely, absolutely lovely. I am so, yeah, so grateful, Shirley. Um, just really touching and just so nice um, to send these these little extras and your yeah your sweet sweet card um, and that and that silk is just exquisite. I'm so looking forward to using that. I'll have to ke have that for a very special special use. I'll um, look to use a little bit of it in the in the stitching the treasury of stitchy friendships. But yeah, so so touched by our friendships and so grateful to Annie Claxton for. For starting this all off, it is simply, simply amazing. 
So thank you, um, Shelley. I am so glad I was able to yeah share this on video and share the joy because I know others will look at this and just think, wow, I've got some some inspiration. Um, and it's just, yeah, really enjoyable to, to share the joy. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day or a great evening. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.